During then the consulting career, there's, I mean, I don't know if you've ever sat down and put a list of countries together that you've visited, but are there any that you would, would have liked to have visit? Two questions. Are there any that you would like to have gone to that you haven't? And are there any countries on the planet that you won't go to? No, because I've all, I've, uh, the second one first, I've, I've always been an avid traveller. And, um, you know, and, and, and I still get excited about, about going to going on trips to places I've never been to before and um, I think that's a, probably an essential requirement for, a, for an exploration geologist really. I don't think anyone's going to be really successful unless they've, they've, they've got that desire to, to see the world and, um, and accept it the way it is. Not, not, not go there and compare it with, your, with the home city but go and accept all the, all the benefits and try to ignore the, the disadvantages. You yeah. don't complain because it's not like England. That, that, that's right, exactly. Which can be a positive yeah. thing. Yeah. So, um, uh, I suppose the, on, the only place that I haven't, haven't worked, I think at last count I'd worked in 97 different countries. So, and the one place I've, I've visited but never really managed, and that, so, that, so that's where I've done field work. So no, I don't don't count just city visits and things. And but I'd, I'd like really like to do field work in in India, mm. and uh, I've never got never got that opportunity. But um, so no, I wouldn't I wouldn't rule out any country really. Although there's a there's a there's a few spots around the world now I think where you've got to be fairly careful for, from the point of view of personal safety. Certain certain areas of Mexico, obviously. Papua New Guinea, certain certain places, main, mainly the cities. So it's very interesting, you know, keeping in mind all those places that you have been to. Have you, you've never really been stricken by any nasty disease, lurgy, etc., have you? No, I, 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 no, I, I'm, 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 I've been very lucky, I suppose. Didn't, didn't, didn't even have to all the time in the tropics. I never, I never got malaria even, um, and for twenty odd years, I've never taken any prophylaxis either. Just taking all the proper Cautions, always carry a carry a net with you, a mosquito net, and use plenty of bug juice. Long sleeves. Long sleeves in the evening, the usual story. Um, but I, I I did have a little a little setback. Um, I was in what's what, what was then called Upper Volta. It's now called Burkina Faso. I was back back there in about 1973, and I was um, working with a with a German fellow. On a, on a copper project in, in the western part of the country. And when we went to Ouagadougou, the capital, um, we, we always had to go to, to, the, to a restaurant run by French nuns for dinner, for two reasons, really. That um, this fellow fancied one of the, you know, the, the, the young apprentice nuns, <laughs> and also it's probably the best food in town, but it was very French. So the meat came undercooked. So I would send this meat back and have it try to get it cooked a little bit more. And uh, anyway, I didn't want to spoil this German fellow's chances, so I didn't insist too much. And uh, anyway, the food, the food, the food would appear, and and I ate several steaks that were seriously undercooked. And about three months later, paid the penalty. Because I, I got a I got a beef worm. It's a little worm, yeah. Yeah, which um, which you know I'm told is uh, is not a, not a particularly dangerous worm to get, but it, it, they, it's they, not they, good for you. In those days, they were very very difficult to extract. Um, it's an entire interview in its own. In its I was going to say we won't ask so, for the explicit yeah, details yeah, in that yeah, one, yeah, but, but it's anyway. Suffice to say, it's it's now not within you. And suffice to say that it's, it's, prob with, it's probably near as a man can get to giving birth. <laughs> but but the worm is now without. <laughs> That's right. Excellent. But uh, but I I, be, I believe it was put to good research purposes. Anyway, there weren't too many of them that were produced in in London. So 